In the last video, we talked about the uses of the scanner class and being able to take a string like this and cut it up or split it up into its different parts. The scanner does this by looking for white space between each word inside of the string. And this is the default. It's looking for white space by default, but we can actually use different things to split up this string. The first one that I wanna show you is what if I want to split it by every comma that's inside of there? So what you do is you say the object name of the scanner class, which is from string, and you use dot, and the method is use delimiter. And inside of this argument right here, you would want to put what you want to be the delimiter, and we're going to use a comma in this case. And you say there is no commas up here and you would be absolutely correct so if we ran this right now it would give us all one string because there are no commas inside of there so it can't split it anywhere but if i decided to put commas instead of white spaces in here you will see when i run it that it splits it at the comma there are no commas to be seen in the output. That is because that is now the delimiter as opposed to the white space. So if I take the commas back out, what if I wanted to use something else? Let's say that I want to use white space. I could just use a space right there and use that as my delimiter. And you'll see that it does something similar to the default and it just cuts it right where you want it. Now this is far more powerful than what you might think. What you can do here is you can put in what are called regular expressions. And regular expressions are a topic unto themselves, but I just wanna show you a small glimpse of the power of regular expressions. If you use this regular expression, and what this is saying is, I want to use anything that is A through Z uppercase or anything that is A through Z lowercase as my delimiter. But by putting this caret symbol right here, I'm saying the negative of that. So my delimiter is going to be anything that is not capital letter or anything that is not a lowercase letter. And then this right here is saying one or more. There has to be at least one or more of the things that I'm trying to use as my delimiter. What would it include my delimiter? Well, white space, because white space is not an alpha character. Numbers, because numbers are not alpha characters. So let's see how this delimiter works. Hopefully you can think of what it's going to do when I print it out. And it only takes the words inside of there because remember the purpose of the delimiter is to say, I want the string to be cut up at this point. Anything that's not an alpha character is going to split up the string. We can also do this with numbers. If I say zero through nine, it just pulls the numbers outside of the string. And then you can just say, oh, I just want the names or if I just want the numbers inside of the string text, this is an easy way to do this. And you can see down here, all I've been doing is going through the string and splitting the information using the delimiter and then printing it out inside of the while loop until it's done. So we can see that delimiters are a powerful tool inside of the scanner class to separate and categorize strings.